Hello everyone, welcome back to our video. And today's video, um, got a package. But this time, I'm not gonna leak my address like last time, which I have taken down that video by now. Um, it was like, uh, what was it? Um, unboxing camera figures. Yeah. So that time, I, um, accidentally leaked my address and it was in there for a while but i've taken it down now so you can't check anymore womp womp. um but yeah uh this time that's not gonna happen and as you can see big bad toy store i know i think i know what's in there it could be a multiple things it's definitely not like kaijin ray figure from sh figure arts because that is just a pre-order and it's not supposed to get here till june i'm pretty sure I'm like almost 100% sure that this is oh yeah there we go you can probably see it big bad toy store oh, oh, oh. my third S my oh wow my second ever SH Monster Arts Oh, 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 man, I'm excited, super excited, the SH Monster Arts Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire Godzilla, oh, man, I'm okay. we also got these, um, yeah, anyway, um, but yeah, Man, I'm excited to open this. Sorry guys, that was my mom. Um, but yeah, she wanted to see what it was. But yeah, I am. Oh man, we are opening it up in this video. Um, so yeah. Oh man, I am. Well, okay, let's look at the box first. So, you got a nice image of Godzilla here, the side. Oh, I forgot the back of the view of the figure. Man. Bottom here. Man, I am. Whew. My original Godzilla. Oh man, we're also gonna be doing some size comparisons. So I'm actually gonna move the camera a bit. Get a nice close up of the opening of Foxy. Get to be as delicate as possible. I don't know how to open these kind of boxes without bending it a little bit. Um, instructions okay I should probably take a I'll take this out a little bit oh my god he actually comes with accessories holy shit yo he actually comes with atomic breath different hands and a different jaw piece that is impressive this guy was 80 bucks meanwhile other figures nowadays like Monster X and uh, uh, like uh, Ultima minus one don't come with any accessories, which is b b bullshit. But this guy actually came with some, and he's cheaper than all of them. With tax and everything, he's exactly a hundred. If you remove tax and shipping, he's eighty bucks. So yeah. Of course, shipping depends on where you live, but, yeah, I am so excited. Uh, first, I gotta get the instructions out of the box, though, because I don't want to mess anything up. 
Oh, they're built into the bottom of the box, huh? That's unique. I've never seen that before. So, okay. Oh, huh. Okay. So I'll get into that in a minute. Okay. So let's open him. Everything's coming out. Okay. 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 So, I got an atomic breath piece. Might want to be careful with that. It's also very sharp. This, which is on a ball joint. So, I might want to be careful with that. I don't know how fragile it is. And then two open hands. Very nice. And now, let's get the figure out. Oh, man, my second ever SH Monster Arts. Oh. oh my god, he feels so amazing. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna package this all back away and then we'll get into the figure. You I will make you guys wait, so see you in a minute. Alright, the box is back together. Now Oh man. Let's dig it in. Okay, okay. So before we get into Guts of himself. I already showed you the accessories actually, I'm sorry. So excited. Okay. Okay, so just looking at this guy. Oh my god. Oh man. He does seem to be a little stiff. He feels great though. Oh man. Nice. Oh man. Oh my god. I'm actually so excited, man. This guy looks amazing. I don't know what that was. Does he have a movable tongue? No, nah, tongue isn't movable. No. Um, so they seem to have a joint here. Seems a bit tight, and I don't want to force it. Legs. A nice range. Knee. Oh my god, bro. Looks so good. And the tail here. Oh. Each individual joint. Nice fluid poses. Oh my god, so much better than the NECA. And the paint on their dorsal plates. Look at this. Oh my god. Every little piece. The eyes are just blue, but I'm completely fine with that. That's actually a twenty shards so. out. But oh my god. Oh my god, I am in love with this figure. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna try and swap out the jaw piece. So it does seem to just be on a ball joint. I don't know how the most effective way to remove it is though. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera around. I can't do that. Okay, so give me a second while I struggle to take this out. Okay. Like this guy. Okay. I'm gonna look at the instructions really quickly. I really don't want to break him. Um, okay, because so I gotta open the box back up a bit. So yeah, it seems like it just comes right out, but... Huh. Okay. Here at some man box. Alright. I don't know how I'm gonna get this jaw piece off. Wait, how... Can I recreate the...
King of the Monsters pose. Okay, so we got a bit of gapage there. That's pretty bad. I think it should be moved up a little. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, I don't mind too much, but... Eh. Okay, it looks like we can get just about enough. Not enough enough, though. Then... If I had the other jar pee, I'd have... Okay, so you just slide it in. So for the extra jaw piece, you just slide it in. I don't know what way exactly. Oh, that way. Seems like it. So you just slide it in and then... <laughs> that would go there. jaw effectively. Give me a sec. Uh, I have no idea how to get it out. It seems to be pretty in there, but I have figured out I can just literally just shove it in there, close it a bit. It does hold if you're like Amy. I'm pretty hold it for a minute. Uh, I don't know. Of course, the one Godzilla that actually comes with an atomic breath. I don't know how to fucking put the jaw piece in. Oh, well, I'll figure it out eventually. But yeah, this figure, it's still amazing. Let's see how easy it is to switch out the hands. Okay. So that hand comes off pretty easily. So does that. Okay, it probably shouldn't be putting the tail up against my keyboard. And then for a more neutral look. Might it fit or what? Yeah, it's a pretty tight fit to put them on there. I try the other one. Yeah. Try and put these hands back on. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so these hands seem to be a bit be a bit hard to put on, which I'm not even gonna try. I don't wanna Accidentally break one of the door show plates. They do seem sturdy. They are a little bendable. They don't, well, these little ones. But they don't seem fragile. Also, they can definitely, these ones down here, definitely stabbable. You could slit someone's throat with this guy's back. But, uh, I don't mind the, I do kind of mind the hands being kind of hard to put on. But, hey, that's just because. They're fresh out of the factory. With time, they'll lighten up, but, you know. But, yeah, um, for the price, I mean, compared to other SH Monster Arts, this is basically, <laughs> meh. Hey, at least you get some. Which, well, for what you pay for, what you get, I'm impressed. You get four accessories, a really nice figure who can pose great. I've already showed you, showed you guys some of the posability, but let's just get back into it. Jaw moves. Head rotates all the way. Let's get these things you can hold up or down. Um, the torso, the like, upper torso moves here a bit. Doesn't rotate though. Arms can go all the way around. Elbow gets up to about there. Hand goes in and out. But you can turn the joint to make it go down and up. There is a joint at the mid torso here. So you can't. It's stiff on my copy. And I don't really want to mess with it. I do still. The gapage kind of does still bottle bother me, but... <sighs> so, you can go up that far, back that far, knee, and the foot here can go forward and swivel. Now, here at the tail, 
We have a variety of joints throughout the entire tail that can move all the way around. Whoa! But yeah, I am just so happy with this figure. It's not the greatest, great figure, but I love it. Overall, actually, I'll do posability, not posability, I'll do um, size comparisons, and then we'll do the rating, so, we'll get Godzilla here, stand him up all the right, stand him up right, alright, so I'll grab, grab a different other, a few other of my figures, and we'll get to a size comparison. So, here is the 2024 SH Monster Arts Goji next to the 2019 or 2014 um, NECA Godzilla. Which is figures just. Uh, it's, I'm gonna actually customize this guy into Dagon now that I got my Godzilla. So, yeah. And then next up, SH Monster Arts Godzilla next to the SH Figure Arts um, Ultraman from the original Ultraman series. The Revel Tech Heisei Gamera, which yes, I know Gamera is smaller than Godzilla, but not this small. Oh, it's a bit outrageous. And finally, the SH Monster Arts 2024 Godzilla next to the SH Monster Arts 2021 uh, King Kong. Well, Kong, I really like how these two look next to each other. I am not going to buy the Godzilla X Kong Kong, because I already have the versus Kong, who is good enough. I can probably just buy another one of these, like, worm here, and, like, customize it to a beast glove. But, you yeah. know. I don't know, Kong now has, like, a grayish beard. I don't care. But, yeah, I think these guys look great next to each other. So, would I recommend you buy this Godzilla? Uh, absolutely, yes. Unless you have the original, like, 2021 Godzilla from SH Monster Arts, then I would say just skip. Because this figure is just a repaint, so, yeah. So... My overall rate for the Godzilla 2024 for Godzilla X Kong New Empire, 9 out of 10. The only reason it doesn't get any higher is because, well, like I mentioned, the gap. That's my only setback, though. And I mean, I guess this being hard to put on, but a uh, bit of lube will fix that right up. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I have a mess to clean up now. Also, I'll probably make a video when this is done, showing you all my, uh, custom Dagon. Also, don't buy this figure, oh my god, the jaw came off, it's this, I had to put under hot water, stick it in there, and it doesn't even move. Look, oh, that gap, just removing it back a little. This figure is actual ass. I lost that tailpiece. This guy sucks. And also, the hands. Hands don't stand for shit. Don't buy this thing. Buy that instead. Because nowadays, there are, like, it's 20 bucks less to get this guy. That's, that's not even a competition, bruh. Bruh. Just buy him. Buy him.